Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing very well. So I thought I'd go ahead and give my commentary on the whole Nicki Minaj and Nosy Ho lawsuit. So I am not familiar with Nosy Ho. I actually just started looking at her YouTube page about a few days ago when this story kind of picked up traction. Um, but now the story is like real, like worldwide. And I had to take a little bit of a uh, peek at what was going on with the situation. Um, so I found that her channel is problematic, not because she is who she says she is who she is or what, she, you know, she's a black woman or anything. I just find that her commentary is a bit loud, right? So it's a bit loud and she always kind of like give out her harshest opinion. And I just feel like, maybe she kind of sticks her foot in her own mouth. You know what I mean? Because on one hand, as I'm looking at her videos, I'm getting the vibe of a female who wants to kind of start a um, a cult of, of, of people who are legitimately on a negative law of vibrational vibe. But she clearly says she's not about that like that, right? And um, I don't know. I mean... It's like one minute she's saying she's a loner. She don't need anybody's opinion. She's not looking for anybody to ride for her. She uh, she likes to be to herself. She states that, you know, she is not looking for validation. But you're choosing topics to talk about. And you're talking about them in the most vulgar way. And you're just, you know, you're just now being in a you know making headway in a lawsuit so i find it all kind of funny because most loners they do not insert themselves in low energy conversations they are not about putting their putting themselves in situations to talk about things that just doesn't you know provide any value to themselves most loners are quiet people so when she said she was a loner i'm like these videos are not giving loner vibes. It's giving very much like I'm just a loud mouth person and I say the stupidest and craziest things because I know that I know somebody else is probably, you know, a, a low hanging fruit and can pick up on this because I know she say that she talks about a lot of good things about people, but I didn't catch that vibe on her video. But that's just what I caught. Like I said, I just started watching her. So of course I'm getting everything that she's dishing out now from a perspective of a person who's trying to be on the defense side. So I did, I did, you know, try to give her the benefit of doubt in the beginning. And I do not have anything against Nosy. I just feel like that's what I got out of her commentary. Uh, so I want to discuss the lawsuit and I want to get y'all opinion about what you guys think about the lawsuit as well, because this is worldwide, like I said. So um, make sure you guys are definitely make sure you are definitely subscribed to the channel. Make sure you are following me. So when I upload new videos, so let's just get right into it. Okay. So the world is set ablaze because <clears throat> Nicki Minaj has filed a lawsuit against Nosy Ho, allegedly, guys. Everyone has been sharing plenty of content about the situation. And if you haven't heard, where have you been? OK, because this is on YouTube, Twitter. It's everywhere. It's being reported. Another blogger who goes by the name of Nosy Ho on YouTube is currently trending worldwide because she's being sued by Nicki. Now, I know everyone have mixed opinions about how this all started between the two women, but let's just say the two are no stranger to each other. Nosy Ho was the first blogger to report on the story of Jennifer Hugh and our victim of Nicki Minaj's husband, Kenneth Petty. It's been alleged that Nosy reported the story and that's what ticked Nicki off, okay? Now, I do believe that Jennifer Hugh has the right to tell her story, guys. I 100% believe that. But my question is, what even set her off to even, you know, come out at the time that she came out publicly? Besides Kenneth Petty, it had to have been something else. However, she has the right, in my opinion, to do as she pleases. And so that's her right. I'm not sure if it was the right decision for her because look what it cost her. It damn near cost her her peace of mind. 
And that's not to be taken lightly. However, the story of Jennifer Hugh took off after the blogger Nosy Ho posted an interview with her now posted an interview with Nosy Ho. Now, some people have mixed emotions about Jennifer Hugh story for numerous of reasons that I am not interested in speaking on because I can say this. It is a mess. OK, so recently TMZ reported the story on their website that Nicki Minaj is allegedly suing the blogger for guess what? $75,000 over cokehead allegations. Listen, 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 listen. That may seem small to some people, but in this recession, I'd rather catch a one-on-one -on -one with Nikki than fumble a $75,000 bag, right? And that's no shade. Listen, I did some research and in fact, there is no lawsuit that has been filed in court, but no, not one. Yeah, there isn't no lawsuit. But Nikki still wants to smoke, I'm sure. And it won't be long before the real documents surface. It could be because of numerous of reasons, maybe why there aren't any official court court papers. Maybe Nikki is assembling a team to shoot a straight shot at the blogger, or Nikki is waiting for Nosy Ho to slip up and give her more ammunition that can make a definite case for her. Do I think Nikki has a case? I do. Because the fact is defamatory is real guys it's a real thing it's one thing to report a rumor but it's another thing guys to say it's a fact those are two separate different things i find it funny that even though nosy ho had words for nikki and it was at that level she chose to try and go loud and clearly wasn't thinking when she started talking about nikki's only child i don't care what anyone says that was poor in judgment and in taste on nosy's part so we're going to sit back and watch how this uh, story plays out and um, see where it goes from there. I mean, I think, you know, Nosy needs to stop talking altogether. But switching gears to Wendy Williams. Okay, so Wendy Williams is circulating in the news um, because it's been reported that she has checked herself. I'm sorry, she's been forced to go check in into a rehab. Uh, news is circulating that Wendy has been forced to check into another rehabilitation center. Um, it really breaks my heart to see a legendary woman such as Wendy go through so much uh, treacherous things. I mean, I was a huge fan of Wendy um, just because she had so much passion and fire and what she did um, from a talk. I mean, from a radio host to a um, worldwide, you know, talk show host. So I was a fan of her. However, I still do want to speak on it. Um, so Wendy Williams has gone back into rehab to take some time to focus on her health and wellness. Sources report that the 58-year-old Wendy Williams' substance issues has gotten worse as she went from drinking wine to straight up vodka. Listen, vodka is a madman's recipe to go out your top. Look, I'm from Louisiana. That's how we identify a person who ain't wrapped too tight upstairs. Now, it's no secret that Wendy has tried several times to rehabilitate her habits. And they're hoping this time it will do her some much needed good. This whole story is a mess. Listen, listen, man, listen. If you're surrounded by people who do not help you be accountable for your actions, you possibly can find yourself spiraling in a downfall just like this with no seatbelt head first. I think her team felt her. I think her ex-husband felt her even worse. And it's all fun when the money was plentiful, but as soon as that money ran dry with her, and it got rough. A lot of people just turned on her. Um, so then, you know, she's left alone and this is what you get. So you got to take care of your mental health out the gate. So I'm sending my love and prayers to Wendy. She needs to be in rehab as many times as it takes. Um, sobriety is an everyday battle. And she needs to find a path that will help her walk a clean path because she before she checks out of here, honestly. Um, anyway, tell me what you guys think about the Nicki Minaj lawsuit at the uh, in the comments. Um you know, do you think she has a case? And also tell me about Wendy Williams. What advice would you give her in your opinion? Um, in my opinion, <clears throat> like I said, I do think Nicki Minaj does have a case against Nosy, if not for anything, for about bringing, bringing up the fact that she she said out of her own mouth that Nicki Minaj does cocaine, okay? Cocaina. <laughs> so listen, and the fact that she brought her child up, that's just a low fly zone for me. That was not necessary. Um, but when it comes to Wendy Williams, I definitely want to see Wendy Williams win. I definitely want to see her win. I want her to rise like the 
phoenix out of this situation okay so make sure you guys like the video subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you guys for watching bye